Previously on last week's episode. I said in the last video, are we saturating this color blocking? YouTube, what is going on? It's solution for the solution kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. First off, thank you to everyone who has viewed the last video about the uh, Bloodline Jordan 1s. Very, uh, very polarizing sneaker I've seen. Um, a lot of people are really happy with that sneaker and a lot of people are, you know, dissing it for reasons unknown to them. But it's, it's really a resale thing and we know that. But today's video is basically a spinoff on a topic that, um, I was kind of intimately discussing with a uh, <laughs> infamous sneaker YouTuber who, who's kind of gotten away from YouTube a little bit and has gone more of the Instagram route. And um, I, I respect him, I do, because he brings a different element of the sneaker game that a lot of people don't want to deal with, okay? He, he has made people uncomfortable, he has made people think, he has made people question things, he has made people um, not like him. And that's perfectly fine with him. And I'm talking about Get Kicks, okay? Get Kicks basically got a, you know, a rise in, in a notoriety, if you will, from a, the gloves off uh, form that Tony D2 Wild and Bullet RC, you know, engaged him on about um, his uh, allegations of things that were going on in the sneaker community. And me being a uh, objectionable thinker, I said, it's, it's too easy to go with the people with the bigger numbers and say, yes, they are telling the truth. This person, I'm not so sure about them. So I looked at it from both sides and I started to see a pattern of things that, um, I was like, you know something, I'm, I'm not gonna side with anything, really. I'm going to look at stuff from these are the facts. This is what I've seen. And this has nothing to do with uh, the things that were going on back then. Y'all know I don't do reaction videos, but this is basically a joke that I shared with him on his Instagram account. <laughs> and it morphed into something else of us having a little dialogue exchange and stuff like that. And he does um, the ride home with uh, Trouble T-Roy. I think he's doing it in the morning now. So I tend to miss him if I'm busy in the afternoons because I'm in Texas. He's on the East Coast where I'm from. So I'm two hours behind him. And uh, sometimes during that block of time, I'm missing things. So. The, the thing that came into play was authenticators, legit checkers. Um, how do they get their credibility? Um, who says you are now the authenticator authority? You're the person that's gonna tell everyone that your shoes are legit. That's way. And I like to say, based on what curriculum? How Based on um, what parameters? How Based upon on what release of shoes? How Who who says you are the all knowing? How As in the words of Thor, who who said you are the all father? Okay. Go you ain't got the answers, order. man. Who gave you governance over this element? of the sneaker community. Now, before we get into it, before people drop down in the comments, I know I like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this part right now. This is not about who has fake shoes. Okay, this has nothing to do with it, to point the fingers and things like that. What I'm saying is that, who deem these legit checkers and these authenticators as the all-knowing authority? There are way too many sneakers being released for someone to say, I know everything. I know what to look for. And here's the thing. We play a part on this as sneaker YouTubers when we do reviews on these things and these sites. Now, here's something you should do, okay? You should do this because you need to know if you're going to delve into what I call the gray market where you're buying shoes from resellers and from boutiques and things like that on what you should be looking for, okay? And the reason why I say we play a part in this because every time we review a sneaker and we do this in-depth analysis, if y'all notice my sneaker reviews have changed a lot within the last year or so, I really don't get into the, see the stitching right here and all this stuff. And yeah, you know, you gotta have that right there. That's the thing. I got away from that. And here's why. Too many of us are doing it already. 
And one thing I noticed is that if it's a hot release and you go on those sites, they're watching us. They'll do upgrades of different releases, okay? So when that shoe comes out, they'll basically give you that um, the beta model, if you will. <laughs> you know, hey, try this out, see if people like it. Mmm, there's something wrong with this shoe. So it's better as more pictures come out and more video come out of more videos come out of the actual shoe. They're looking at this and they're going, okay, we need to fix that. It'll say uh, last run, final version and things like that. So you should be looking at these uh, websites, okay? These Instagram accounts that are engaged in these type of things. You should be looking at these things. So you'll know if you say, you know something, I missed out on this release. I'm gonna have to go this route because I really want that shoe. You should be looking at these things. And it, once again, I am not pointing the finger at anyone. It's your money. I don't care, okay? My thing is, who are these people that get certified? Now, in my old line of work, I had a multitude of certifications. And what that did was basically tell people I am the deeming the deeming the authority on this matter right here because I am certified. My experience and my skill based upon the things I had to go to to get qualified for this is, look, I'm the authority on this and I have this paper from this agency, okay? Now, the thing is, is that it is accreditation. Who accredits these schools that do this? And my joke with Get Kicks was, I'm gonna find this school that says they are certifying these legit checkers, these authenticators. I'm going to find it. And when I find it, I'm going to that school. I'm going to pay for it. I'm saying, you know something? I got this document right here. You want your shoes legit check? Come to me. You see that? I'm, I'm the authority on that. So you need to hire me for every sneaker show, every sneaker event. I'm going to do, I'm going to be the dude at the table and like, get them out of here. They aren't certain. Where's your certification at? You can't do this job. Get out of here. You only paying me those hundreds of dollars to sit there and flip shoes around and look for stuff because it has gotten out of control, people. The only way to really dictate that you've gotten something legit is simply go to a certified retail store. All right, if you're going to a lot, not to say these boutiques are doing this, but you run the risk of these shoes sliding through, okay? There was a situation with um, a, a, a store somewhere, and it, it went viral, if you will, within the community of um, how things happen and all that stuff. It's been a multitude of videos on that, and the guy, people realize that the guy flipped the shoes around and all that stuff. We know that. We're not talking about that, but what I'm talking about is how the shoe got it. If, if, you know, if something like this would really happen, how we'd get there, and who would know? The guy at the counter is going, yeah, these aren't real. Based on what? I've seen videos where people talk about the shoe box. Literally, the shoe box, all right, tells you that the shoe is fake. Now, let me give you a tip. If you order a sneaker from an international website, or well, well, I don't say international website, well, a store that is international, and you make your purchase, gets confirmed, and gets shipped to you, it's going to be missing something, okay? And it's going to be that suggested retail sticker that appears right here that you can tear off because that is American dollars. That's U.S. dollars, all right? Apparently, you buy that shoe from sneakers and stuff like in Germany. I got some Air Max like that, and I got a pair of Jordan 4s right here just like that. I ordered from them. It's not going to have that, and of course, it's going to come DHL. Okay, but it's a legit store with the proper account and all that stuff. So you can't go by what the box says. Oh, it was missing the stickers and all that stuff. You got mold proof stickers and stuff like that. You have um, lot numbers and things like that. All these things can be duplicated anyway. I mean, heck, in a, number, in a matter of time, you got a, a sneaker con with their NFC chip thing. Trust me, the more we throw this stuff out there, all they're going to do is reverse engineer it. All right. You have StockX, the tags, the hang tags. You could buy those along with the sticker in the card and throw it in the shoebox. If the stuff is out there, people, because the more we review it, the more information they have, the more they get it in detail, and the more they perfect it. Okay? It doesn't stop because the sheer amount, well, the little amount of effort it takes to make some of these shoes and say, oh, just a piece of paper, it was a paper made on. Okay? All right? And, and sometimes they don't care. All right? because you have different grades of shoes like that. They're like, okay, the person paid a price for that because that 130 is too much for them. It really just comes down to money, everyone. And the whole, the school thing, back to that. <laughs> I would love, matter of fact, I'm gonna go online. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check if a school actually exists. Okay, so let me log in here. 
on my wonderful laptop. All right, so there's a sneaker authenticated service legit check by whoever that is, okay? Let's look. So someone's making money off legit check it, okay? And it, this is not to bash the sites anything like this, but just let you know. Found the truth with your white glove sneaker authentication service. All right, so yeah, how it works. You also see the link for the sneaker authenticated serves. I also have touchscreen on here as well. So um, let's let's scroll up. Okay. White glove authentication service. White glove. All right. It's all about the white gloves. All right. Send us everything that might be a burden for you. Set pictures. You can place an order. After 48 hours, you will be reached out through email to receive your items authenticity, authenticity status along with a report and a purchase certificate, okay? The virtual doc will be with you. So let's see, can you click on that? It says, oh, wow. For $60, you get the proof of authenticity, okay? Augment your case for a refund and have undeniable rock solid proof in your items. Now, the thing is, is that who trains these people, okay? Who trains you? That's what I want to know. Now, normally at the bottom of these websites, it should say about, and it should give you a few things. So, let's drag up some more, okay? And it says, you do this for two reasons. You're about to buy an item, you're not sure whether it's authentic or not, You've already bought one and don't know if you've been scammed. I was waiting here to help you. Okay, you also you click on that link as well. All right. You can't wear an item until you're sure it's authentic. You're gonna wait. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Become bulletproof in case somebody checks you. Hey, what's up with those? You can whip out your certificate of authenticity, authenticity right there on the streets. You pull out your back pocket. Hey man, these are real because I got these checked by the legit check app. All right, not to diss them, but hey, they, they found a niche market and apparently people are using this. Look, it's a, they, they are, look, they got some high end stuff on here. Okay, they got Goyard, St. Laurent, Alexander McQueen. All right. Fear of God. People still wearing vitamins. Okay. You no. Know, not into that stuff. They can help in other ways. All right. Our company. About us. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So it's not all about sneakers with them. It's not about sneakers with them. It's about luxury items. Once again, the white glove service. Oh, white glove service. It, 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 you, it's, it gotta be real, okay? It's gotta be worth it because it's a white glove service that they're using. They got an app. But it doesn't say who certifies them, okay? Hmm. And it says reach out <laughs> for content purposes. I should reach out to them and say, hey, who certifies your certifiers? Like, who, who's the authority to say, hey, you guys are the, the go-tos for this? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Okay, that's what I want to know. But they, they don't get into much of it all. And see, let's look at this certificate of authenticity. See what it looks like. Oh, can we, can we open that up? Oh, there it is. Mm. All that good stuff, y'all. Mm. So there you have it. That's one site. Okay. Now see if there's a school. That's what we need to know. We know there's a, a couple of sites out there, if you will, because you saw it in the search browser. And uh, let's let's go. They were at the top. So their search engine optimized. Good stuff for them. But that's how it works. But let's see if we can find a school. I'm telling you all, it's got to be a school out there, okay? I've been following the impeachment and all that good stuff. Probably, well, it's going to make it past the House. It's going to die in the Senate. Know your politics, people, okay?
most people don't even care about stuff like so let's go sneaker authentication school see normally if it was being searched for a lot it would come up right away so let's check become a sneaker insider think we found something people look look uh, let's see let's see let's see hold on hold on hold on it, this might not be what we're looking for but it's SEO is at the top so I mean it's an ad so we want to see <laughs> all right everyone so we just saw well you just came along with me for a search to see if a school actually offers a legit check course on thought and authenticator check course and we saw that complex fitness institute technology is the closest thing that comes to that but it appears that they do not get anything and maybe their design and manufacturing let me look back on here i want to on their curriculum course maybe their course number three where manufacturing production gets into it. And it says, go inside the factory, see how sneakers are made and learn about the key steps like pattern making, upper assembly, outsole application production. But once again, it probably doesn't because there is no way you'll be able to say, okay, every sneaker that gets released, I am an authority, I'm the expert on every sneaker that drops. There's no way you'll be able to master all those sneakers as soon as they drop. And we know every Saturday we get a Jordan release. Okay, sometimes twice a week from time to time. So it's no way. As of late, uh, Yeezy has been dropping his sneaker every week. So how are you going to keep up with all that? To say, I am the pro on this. I am the expert. Send your shoes to me and I'll tell you these things are real. I am the solution for the solution for kicks. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button, and you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. And hey, <laughs> it's not about how much you pay for the sneakers. Why did you pay that much? But I'll say this. This sneaker was... this. Hmm. This video was not created to bash anyone, any entity. It's, it's just for people to have some objectionable thought and question things. It's your money. You should be questioning the things that you purchase and that protects you as a consumer. And subject to your questions, drop down below. Let's talk about it. And shout out to Get Kicks for um, popping that in my head, man. You get assistant producer credit for this one, all right? So I know this is a very controversial topic and you're like, oh my goodness, why'd you do this to solution? It needed to be done, all right? That, that elephant, that rhino was in the closet jumping around. 